Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for an electric water heater. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Got my truck parked right out front. That's a beautiful thing right there. So today we have a service call for an electric water heater. Funny enough, you guys remember, I replaced one just like this. So this is the commercial side of this building and pretty much they have a whole bunch of setups similar. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. They said they have no hot water. If you guys listen closely, you're gonna hear a compressor short cycling. But should I pay attention when you hear that buzzing sound? I can hear this compressor starting and turning off like after like 10 seconds. Oh, right there. Just turned off anyways we're not here for that they gave the contract to a union company for the commercial stuffs but oh well so let's see what's going on here let's uh, see if we have incoming power first let's start with that here's the water heater follow power comes into here let's see if we have power first okay can I keep this put on volts AC so coming there so power comes from the top let me get this set up come on all right we got 208 there do we have 208 coming out? Yes, we do. So, you already know the fuse has got to be good. I turn the power off for now while I take off these covers. Should have the, the elements in here. The other one was so rusted at that point, honestly, I would just say to change it. So, this one doesn't look as bad. This one doesn't look as bad. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't look as bad. All right, it's set to hot. It's set to hot. So we have two elements and two uh, aquastats, basically. Seems a little warm. Seems a little warm. So how does this work? I'm gonna take off this clip so I can see what's going on in here. Just a little, little flat and we'll take that off. Now we got a full picture here. It says 208 volts, right? Of course, we checked it over there. So here's the diagram. I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so this is what we're looking at. This is the aquastat. You can adjust the temperature through here. It's set to hot. Also a reset button there. Let's see if anything tripped. Where can I nicely put this? Where you guys can see now. I gotta get that magnet thing on there. All right, volts. We should have volts between the top two. We got two 
weight there. We're not pulling, it says 4.4, had 0.3 before. Hold up a second, do we have the voltage across the heater? We don't. There's power there. What if I adjust this to, to hotter? Use a little flathead. I just heard it click. Do we have amps now? Right there, we got amps now, guys. No amps. But do we have volts? No volt. All right, hold on. Is this one working right now? All right, we got 22 amps here. This aquastat right here was the problem. It wasn't calling. This one, we don't have amps now. And we don't have... We don't have volts. But we have incoming power. Wait a minute. We don't have incoming power now. Okay, now the bottom one has power. And it, it, we're pulling 22 amps. And that is because when I adjusted this heater, this aquastat. So if I make it hotter here, so that would turn that one on. We lose the power. So they don't want to run both heaters at the same time. That's why that, with this double setup. Let's keep an eye on this thing. Let's see what kind of temperatures we get. All right, so this one just shut down. Does that mean this one's running? Yes, it does. It's switching up. I'm gonna put a thermometer on here. Let's see. You guys see anything? switch over on its own this one's pulling amps that thing is super hot i could probably even lower the thermostat a bit honestly so pretty much you know power comes in from the top when it senses it it wants us to turn on the heaters it sends power from these two wires to this heating element there's two of them and the way this is an upper element this is the lower element there's a number of different in their model numbers. So pretty much, you know, they don't have them both running at the same time. You know, if they did, maybe we would have blew a few, so I don't think that happened. Either these thermostats are acting up, because I don't think it's the element. The element's pretty straightforward. Uh, either the thermostats are uh, acting up, or they just didn't have the set properly, or maybe they ran the water and they're like, oh wow, it's not hot. But maybe they have to give it a few minutes because of the type of setup that they have. This is a tiny little uh, water heater for a tiny space, you know, and it's, it's a, for an office space that's not like fully packed. There's not that many people here. So they don't have water flowing like that all the time. You might, might need to give it a minute, but who's gonna wait there for two minutes to get hot water, you know what I mean? So it is what it is, but I think we're good here. 
the only thing I can tell them is the truth and maybe recommend to update those thermostats as this unit's already going on eight years old. I don't know, but you know, people want an answer. But it doesn't look like we need to replace this one. But yeah, a little something interesting to see. I'll send you, I'll show you some diagrams and some pictures and see what's going on. And it's cool to get an inside view of things. Pretty simple setup. Got your power supply, cold water coming in. Unit does its job and sends hot water out. That's it, uses the city pressure from the cold water. And uh, that's about it. Here we have a relief valve in case that there's an issue. And here you have a port where you can drain it. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as we come out with new videos every week. We got hot water and I'll catch you all next time.